Okay, so this is, I just I put on my uh, rack and fenders, my 29er. Um, I got the, the Cascadia, um, Planet Bike Cascadia 29er fenders. Um, I attached the front, as you can see with a zip tie here, zip tie on the other side, and, and they're pretty good. Um, I had to cut these um, off and then attaches right there at the top. Um, for the back, um, the for the disc brake side, I had to put um, a zip tie around the, what do you call this, the seat stay. Um, on the other side, uh, I just put it on, there I have a eyelet back there. Um, and then this at the rack is the toe peak or toe peak or what, how do you say it? Yeah, toe peak or two peak, I don't know. But that's a disc brake um, rack that at first I didn't really like, but it's pretty good. Um, well, at first I thought maybe I didn't need it, the disc brake mounts, because as you can see, it looks like it's, you know, that there's still about an inch of space there um, but I actually had an old rack that I tried to line up and it just wasn't big enough as you can see this one it kind of bows bows out a little bit um, to fit and then these are just attached there um, and that's about it and now I have the ultimate winter bike and it looks pretty sweet too. It's all like black and silver. And the studs. It's the best feature. They can literally go through anything that Michigan Winters has to offer. Um, I have the tires pumped up to 65 PSI, which is their max. Um, I'm guessing in softer snow I might go down to like 30 um, but on the ice and everything and through the snow that I've ridden so far 65 has been fine I haven't had any problems Do -do -do. I'm so happy to have my panniers on this bike it's awesome alright 